Jim here. Welcome back to J Street Moto. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time. Give me a favor. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss any content. Share it with your friends. It's free for you and it helps the channel. If you ride motorcycles at all, and it really doesn't matter what kind of motorcycle you ride, chances are you have done at one point in time or another a ride supporting a local charity or a national charity or even just someone in the area that maybe has been injured or going through hard times whatever you have done something to support that motorcyclists tend to be pretty charitable people and any excuse we not like we need an excuse to ride but any excuse we have to ride we're gonna take it I was thinking about something the other day you don't have to wait for a charity ride to raise money for a charity. Let me explain what I'm talking about. And we don't do it every time we take a long distance trip. I'm going to caveat it with that. We have done it both times we rode to California and back. We picked a charity to support. We did. California won, which we did in 2020. That trip we were raising money for the EMS Society. In 2022, when we went to California the second time, we were raising money for breast cancer. Why do I bring this up? I bring it up just to tell you and point out kind of how easy it is to do this. Most national charities have the ability for you to do what's called a DIY fundraiser. And it doesn't cost you anything. It literally, they give you the tools you need to be able to create a page that is custom built for what you're raising money for, why you're raising money for it. And I really like that because it gives you a chance to turn something that you're already passionate about, riding a motorcycle, and let you kind of marry that passion with potentially a charity that means a lot to you put things in perspective when we did California one our goal for fundraising just the two of us and doing it just through social media basically sharing pictures from the road maybe sharing some videos telling people stories about stuff that happened on either Facebook or Instagram we raised over ten thousand dollars for MS and that's that's what we raised directly through our site I'm very proud of that number when we went to California the second time we were raising money for Susan G. We had a goal of $15,000. It was three of us, and we did it the exact same way. And in that one, with the matching donation, we almost got to our goal. We, we were at like thirteen seven, I think, $13,700, which isn't bad when you consider it was three guys on motorcycles riding every damn day. And we raised that money in a 12 and a half day period. Both times the money was raised from the beginning of the trip to when we got home. And we did both those trips in 12 and a half days. Now, when we went to Canada in 23 and when we went to Sturgis in 21, we didn't, we didn't do a fundraiser. Oh, all selfish, I guess. We just wanted to be able to focus on the ride, focus on having fun together. But the big ones, the ones that people are just like, holy shit, man, you're riding from one side of the country to the other side of the country. Those things deserve and they get the kind of attention from your friends on social media. I think those warrant having some kind of charity to it. So for those of you out there that are the charitable kind and you like to go on all these, you know, poker runs and rides for all that stuff, rides for vets. Keep in mind, you don't have to wait for them to raise money for the charity that you care about. Every single one of them gives you an option or gives you a way to do it without, you know, a lot of hassle on your part. I thought I would just make a short video while I was riding around and getting ready to do some errands. My son graduated high school today. He's been up since the butt crack of dawn. Finally got home from it. And, uh... Needed to go out and pick up what we're cooking for dinner. 
so I'm going to go take a little scoot, and I figured I would talk to you guys about that because it's been kind of on my head for a while. Moving along, thank you. I can't thank you all enough. We're almost over 700 subscribers. I am just stoked. Also, I'm really freaking excited. This is going to be the first vlog that I've done with the new GoPro Hero 12. And more importantly, the first vlog that I've done where I'm recording the audio from my helmet directly to the camera via Bluetooth. That's right. You heard me right. Via Bluetooth. It's not hardwired. I don't have a lapel mic. I don't have an extra mic inside my helmet. I'm literally using my Cena. It's connected to the camera. And I'm capturing the audio that way. The first couple of tests I did, it came out sounding dramatically better than how I was recording it to the phone. So I hope that when you watch this, you will think the same, that the audio sounds better. I'm pretty stoked about this because this is something I've been wanting to do on the channel and do it in a, in a way where I was proud of the content I was putting out. Hope you're enjoying the weather. Hope you're getting out and riding. I really do. I hope you are checking on your friends. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell. What's up, dude? Always ride safe. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, shoot. Ah. Asshole. Really? <laughs> Peace out, bitches! <laughs>